What's up, you guys? I am super excited about our very special guest today, Angel, who you guys may know as Mac Daddy, yes, on Instagram. And he's also the creator of Artist Couture. If you guys saw my Latino brands, he was all up in the mix in that video. What's yes. up? What's up, girl? I'm happy to have you okay, here. I'm so excited. And so... I've actually known of you and known you for yeah. years in passing, and I've always wanted you to do my makeup. Yeah. So today is the day, I people. I mean, I've been dying to get my hands on your face. So. I'm ready. Do you see his face? Oh my gosh. Yes. Get, get into it. I'm just kidding. For the gods. <laughs> get into it, for real. So I right now have pretty much what would be my everyday mm -hmm. makeup, and we are gonna show you guys how to turn your everyday makeup for the daytime. We're gonna turn it way up. Turn it up. For a fun night look. So I know, I get asked all the time, and I'm sure you do too, like how do you take your makeup from like a day look and then turning it up without literally having to like start wash your face all over and again. And before we get started, don't forget to hit the bell right next to the subscription box so that you can get notified when there's new episodes like this one right here. That you don't Boom. miss. So you don't miss out. All right, so let's <laughs> do this. What are we doing? What are right, we doing? So we're gonna start off. Start? I'm gonna start off by just kind of like freshening up your skin. Yes, which is yeah. such a concern for so many women out there, especially wearing your makeup throughout the entire day. For me, in my case, because I go to work so early yep. in the morning, this would be like my makeup on the real. And you haven't touched up at all today, right? I haven't touched up okay. at all today. How do you touch up? Like, what's your method? Do you blot? Do you powder? Do you just... I take tissue paper, literally okay. from the bathroom, and okay. I'll blot right in here. Okay. And then I might add some powder. Do you take, like, toilet paper? Yes. Okay, so the, the secret is, because sometimes toilet paper can, like, just ruin things. and it Oh, can, because it... It can pick it up. Or it can leave little It leaves little, those tiny, little, little white fuzzies. things all over your yes. face. But a toilet seat cover. <laughs> She comes through. So really? Little trick, if you're leaving the office and you don't have blotting sheets, which everyone needs, yes. just go in that bathroom, get a little like, you know, toilet seat cover, rip off a little Boom. square, and it literally we'll do the same thing that a blotting sheet. Not has. a used one. <laughs> so as we go along, tell me what you're I using will. so I can I go totally pick will. it up. And we'll add all of it in the description yes. box below so you can get it too. Yeah, so we're gonna start off with just a little bit of concealer. Okay. I'm just gonna freshen you up a little bit. I am obsessed with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. I've and heard about this. Yes, these are like some of the best concealers ever. I've never used it before. This will be my first time trying it. And how cute is this little baby? I'm all about little bite-sized things because it just makes life easy. But this can go on a clutch. Yes. This can go on a go little in pocket. Purse. It can go in your brassiere. There we go. Just right in there. It'll yeah, fit. It'll fit right there. Okay, so, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just gonna do a couple little dabs like right underneath the eye area. Just like so, just a little bit. You have like the cutest face ever. Oh God, I thank can't you. Even deal. We all look at our own faces and we're like, what's I think wrong? naturally <laughs> we see what's wrong. Like for me, the things that I don't love is sometimes I can get really puffy under uh -huh. my eyes. You know how some people get like bags or they're hollow under yeah. their eyes? I am not hollow under my eyes. I'm puffy under my yeah. eyes and then I feel like I have the tallest bridge of life. No. Like I feel like my bridge starts on my forehead. No, you have a good makeup face. And I'm sure when you get your makeup done, people tell you that. Okay, yes. Yes or no, see? I'll tell you see? why. Because naturally I don't have really bold features. So it allows them to be able to bring them out more. Bring them out yeah. more. So I'm gonna take my beauty blender and do I'm you wet yours? I do, so that I've already pre-soaked. So do you use hot water or cold water? I I've never really paid attention. I always use hot water. Really? I don't know why. I feel like the hot water makes, makes it, it fluffier. Makes it warm uh -huh. too. And I feel it feels more like um, the warmth of your hands. Okay, so I'm just gonna take mm. my beauty blender and I'm lightly just going to stipple. So the trick with this is with adding and layering product, like you don't want to go in with like a blending brush and start to like blend and buff because you're gonna move everything. Exactly. So with the beauty blender, it allows us to just literally just kind of like stipple and layer on top in a way where it's just gonna almost like, think of it as like layering something on something. And it's literally just gonna like already, like I just went like a few times and it already looks fire. But yeah, so I'm just stippling the concealer and I'm kind of staying more like right in like the inner crevice of the eye. Like I really just want to brighten you up like right in here, you know what I mean? And not over here. Exactly. Like instead of dragging it all the way out. Exactly, because well, we want that. the light to come from within. You know what I mean? So I just want Stay you to look excited. lighter in here. Mm. Exactly. That's one of my little tricks. You just put me on. Yeah. Like even though I do my own makeup, mm -hmm. I love working with other makeup artists because I feel like I always learn some new tricks. Of course. And everyone has like different techniques mm -hmm. and a different way of doing things and just like the way that they look at your face mm -hmm. with makeup. With different perspectives. Yeah. So after we've done this, now we're going to set it with a little bit of powder. And I just started using, well not just, but I've been using 
this powder from, do you know who Pat McGrath is? Oh my God, okay. okay, so if you don't know who Pat McGrath is, right after this video finishes, not now, don't stop watching the video, yeah. but when we're done, Check out Pat McGrath. So really we're gonna use this setting powder. This is, and I love the names of everything. It just feels so like her packaging. Bouge. So this is called the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Setting Powder. Pero que sexy. Right? Doesn't it the sound fetish, just like yeah. something you just want to put on your face? I've never tried this one, so I'm excited about this. So this is shade light, medium too. I like this because it is like almost translucent, mm -hmm. but it has a little bit of a yellow tint. And you do reference banana powder earlier. So yeah. it's kind of that vibe, but not as yellow. But the powder itself is like super finely milled, mm. super soft. It literally looks airbrushed, but what I love is that it doesn't look dry. Like your under eyes are gonna look dry and cakey. It just looks really nice and fresh and you yeah. just look, oh wait. So normally, like you said, the baking technique, you normally pick it up with like a sponge and mm. you go to town. I don't wanna do that because I don't want you to look, you know, like I said, dry. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of that product on my stippling brush like this. And I like to just tap off the excess so that you're not depositing okay. too much product. And we're literally just going to press really lightly underneath the eye area. And I am not so gonna look down so that we don't crease. Exactly. So you know what's up. That's the key, guys. You know don't up. look down. Just like that. Don't look down. Here we go. Press, 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 press. Perfect. And I'm just gonna just add a little bit of this to just like on your forehead, like right in here. Guys, a this feels shine. amazing. I don't know why this is like... Don't, don't fall asleep on me though. We gotta, we gotta finish this video. it just feels so nice though. <laughs> so now I'm going to take a bigger brush. This is actually a Pat McGrath brush. Like feel this, look at this is luxe. And again, look luxe. at how gorgeous. Yeah, like, your tools are everything you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's worth investing in yes. like good stuff. I feel so strongly about good tools that I literally would rather use really great expensive tools and like drugstore makeup rather than like uh, you know, cheap I believe tools in the drugstore and like makeup. expensive makeup. So I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer, but I'm also gonna kind of use this to like blot awesome. kind of like some of the oil that's going on. So this is just a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in medium Dope. tan. The cool thing about it, it is a mineral powder. So the way that it's made, it's baked. So it's just a different texture and it's gonna look different on your skin rather than like a pressed powder that can contain talc and things like that that can make you look like ashy and gray. Mm. Like this is just gonna like make you look really nice and fresh. That is not the look. So I'm just picking it up on the fluffy brush and we're just lightly just gonna like stipple. So it's just gonna help us with a little bit of the shininess, but also obviously adding a little bit of color. I always love bronzing. Oh, I Like love. your forehead, I feel like it makes your forehead look smaller. Yes. It like makes you look thinner. I have the biggest forehead, which is why I stopped. No, you no, do not. Girl, it's, 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 it's a catfish. This is why I style my hair like this, because I push my curls forward. So if, if I lift her, I'm ex no I'll way. expose myself. Well done, I would have never known. <laughs> yeah. Another little trick for you guys at Genius, home. thank you. Okay, what is this Tom Ford? Okay, so this is a Tom Ford bronzer. I, we can't show it to camera because I, I use it. it so much. But that's amazing. And I need to get a new one, and I didn't have time to get a new one, but like, I really wanted to use it, so I'm like, I'm just gonna bring it. So this I've is... never purchased Tom Ford makeup. Ever? Never, because one, I'm frugal Fran, and when things are like super expensive, I'm like, I, I could get that at CVS for yeah. something similar yeah. for $9. Mm -hmm. but. Not gonna lie, you just made me wanna buy it. So what makes this top oh work? Like Why do you use it so much? What makes it so, so dope? So I like this one because of the undertone. It has like a really nice, like almost like a golden, but it has a little bit of a red undertone mm. to it. And it's just like the perfect color. There's nothing worse than an ashy no, brown. No, ooh, or like, yeah, we don't want, we don't want it to look like that. No. We wanna look rich and mm. bronze and golden. So I'm gonna go in with this bronzer. I'm just gonna add a little bit more definition to your cheeks because Ready. we need these cheeks to be on and popping. So I'm like, And I'm the weirdo that as soon as he does that, I'm like. Cause you already know the tea and I love that. I don't have to tell you. Fish face it is. Fish wow. face. Say fish face five times really fast, go. Fish, fish face, fish face, fish, 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 fish. Wow, you're gifted. <laughs> I can't do it. So I have another beauty blender and I'm gonna pick up that powder, oh, that Pat McGrath powder. And we're lightly just gonna, I'm sure you, this happens all the time when you get your makeup done. We're lightly just going to like press underneath that bronzer. This is almost gonna like cut the cheek a little bit more. It's just mm -hmm. gonna kind of kick up that That's contour what I want. a little bit more. And multitasking, it's also gonna just help freshen up mm -hmm. the skin down over here. I just want everyone to know that he smells really good. <sighs> Thank you. Just putting that out there. Okay, I'm gonna, ooh, we're gonna have to fake it till we make it on this side. Okay, so we're good. We're gonna leave this. So this is kind of a little bit of a baking, mildly, just a little bit, just kind of like leaving her there, letting her just kind of do her thing. I'm gonna kick up your cheeks 
with a little bit of blush. I'm gonna be using, this is from my dear friends over at Alamar Cosmetics. It's I like, like this the name, super, Alamar. I it's like super Spanish inspired. I literally love this palette so much. It has Ooh, different shades. Oh, those are beautiful shades. colors. Yes, we're gonna use the peachy shade. I love I know you love peachy because it's you going to compliment. You know I love peachy gold in anybody. It's going to complement the gold and the bronze. So we're just going to pick it up with a brush and smile for me. And we're lightly just going to add it right in here to just give it a really pretty peachy cheek. She needs a dinner date somewhere. Perfect. Ooh, that's actually a really good idea. And now you have me thinking, I'm like, where should I go? Okay, I think we're done with cheeks and face. I want to move on to eyes. Okay. You ready for some I'm ready. eyes? Okay, so yes. this is literally kind of what you do, right? You just do like a light brown. You don't have an just, aggressive liner. No. Okay. So it's so easy to kick up eyes, guys, and I'm super excited because we're actually gonna be using something brand new from my line. It's my new Midnight Maven so eyeshadow excited palette. About this. this is actually my first eyeshadow palette ever. Really? In life. Yeah. Yeah, this is her. She looks like this. Isn't she so pretty? Wait, is this what you have on your eyes? It is, yeah. Wait, do I get this yeah. too? Yes, and you get to keep her too. You get to keep her. She's excited! Yeah. So okay. She's a fresh, untouched, ready just for you. Okay, wait, you know what's amazing about this? Is you have all these amazing pop of colors, but mm -hmm. you also have neutrals in here as well. And it's literally the only neutrals you'll ever need. In yeah, life. this is this is everything. Yeah. Like when I go to work, if I just yep. had this palette, I'd be fine on the real. I'm gonna take this shade with this blending brush. And again, this is kind of similar to what you have going on right now. Look down for me. But I'm just gonna kind of like freshen this up. So I'm literally just adding this in your crease. It's a little bit warmer, so we're gonna start to see some more definition. So we're literally just building on what we have because sometimes we like again we don't have time to like start from scratch we just need to build enhance and just be ready to go i already see like i mean if you look to camera like you guys can already see like that it definitely has like a lot more definition so again when i think of like evening makeup when i think of like when you go out with like your girls or like a date night like it's all about kind of like bringing things forward a little bit more it's all about adding more contrast and definition because again you're not like out during the day and mm -hmm. it's not like nice and bright like you gotta add a little like extra oh gonna add some to the other side too boom 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 and then right now you have Lash extensions. Mm hmm. There's one that's literally like. Throwing gang signs. Here we go. Yeah, boom. Bye. She was trying to sabotage yeah. us. She had to go. I want you to tell me out of all of these colors here, which one's the one that's like that's screaming your name? Well, now I want the blue because you have the blue. Okay, so you want to do the blue? Yeah. Okay, kind so of. we'll do the blue. Tell me why. What did you want to do? Well, I'm gonna, I kinda wanna have a little fun. I wanna do Nightcap, which is like this like really pretty Let's purple. Let's do it. So I'm using this brush, this is a MAC 217, mm -hmm. which is a little bit smaller. It's a little bit more dense than like a fluffy blending brush. So what we're gonna do, turn this way for me right there, look down, just like that. I'm lightly just gonna start to almost like pat this color in place first before I start to blend it. I really just kinda wanna get it where I need it to go first. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna like do a little blending action. So again, just kind of stain right on the outer corner, just like so. And you guys can see like how pigmented these shades are because literally just like do a couple of presses onto the eyes and we have like full pigment and color payoff. Okay. So gonna do this side now. Put her right where we want her. Mm -hmm. And you work from the outside in. Outside in, yeah. Okay. I'm going to take this brush. This is like a smudge brush. I'm gonna pick up that same shade nightcap, mm -hmm. which is that purple. And we're just gonna blend this underneath your lash oh, line. I'm excited. Look up for me. So just adding what's all to what's already there. Mm -hmm. Just right Which here. I think was like a sand color, right? Like a barely there. Mm-hmm. But now she is there. She's full blown. Oh, she's popping in purple. She's full blown there. Do you ever wear purple eyeshadow? No, but ever? I heard that it actually makes your eyes look more green. It does. I'm actually going to take two different shades, but I'm gonna start off with this one right here. This one's called Light Out, which is like that a really pretty. That looks so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it with this flat brush. Look down for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm lightly just going to like press and sweep like right in the center of the eye. What does that okay. do? Oh my God. So much. Look down. Okay, I'm like living right now. I'm living and I almost can't breathe. There is nothing better than someone doing your makeup and they're getting hyped and excited. Yeah. That makes you feel like, oh my God. Look down. That will hype you. Look right over here for me. Mm -hmm. Right in there so I can get right in this little crevice moment. Mm -hmm. Open. Oh. That's the reaction <laughs> I want. 
Every time someone does my makeup, Do you that it? is the reaction I Do want. You what's your What's your go-to black liner? Go-to black liner is Stila. Is it Stila? Lana! I love when she calls Lana. Lana, she's not here. What's my go-to eyeliner? The one that has the Tarte. Oh, it's by Tarte. It has the pointy liquid liner yeah. on the side. So, Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs is the truth. Very high-end eyeliner. Look up for me. We're gonna take this all inside your waterline. This is really gonna kick up the drama and it's really gonna frame your eyes and make them look super sultry. Go to work. Gorgeous. Okay, so I feel good about this. I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara. Okay. So this is a brand new mascara. This is from Laura Mercier. Look Love up it. for me. Mm -hmm. I'm lightly just gonna coat the bottom lashes. You just wanna be a little careful because it is a bigger brush, so we don't wanna like sabotage. Mm -hmm. Get that mascara on the bottom. I actually always curve my own. Cause then what it cause You're when mascara brush, you curve it yourself? Yeah, so what I do is like for example, like when I'm wiggling on my bottom lash, so I'll just show you, like I literally will like bend the brush. What? Like this. So that I can just like rather than feeling like I'm like you know what I mean? Really? Yeah. And, and it, it actually does make it easier to look up. Cause then you're able to just kind of like wiggle side to side and get in there, you know? Okay, perfect. And now I'm just gonna... I love it cause like different audiences don't know <clears throat> stuff like that. And they're yeah. just like, wait, what? Mine blown. I actually like the fact that we're not doing like a big, cause at first, not gonna lie, I was like, I wanna pop a lash on you mm -hmm. to really bring it up. But I actually like that this, I can see through the lash. Yes and see the beautiful color. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take away. So adding a little bit of mascara just adds the drama that we want. It adds a little bit more definition to them, but it's not taking away from the actual eye makeup. So now I'm going to dust off all of this that mm -hmm. we kind of like left in here. You can just go to town with like, you know, a big fluffy brush. That brush just does like so. feel amazing. Doesn't it feel nice? Mm -hmm. Turn this in. And I just kind of want to freshen your skin up a little bit yes. before we okay. add some glow. Yes, okay, I was glow. asking about this. You guys, like literally, this is like my favorite spray. And if you like, if you watch my videos or follow me on Instagram, like I talk this? about it all the time. So this is a Korean skincare brand called Glow Recipe. You guys can get her at Sephora or online. This is the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Obsessed for two reasons, well, a few reasons. It literally smells like watermelons, like a Jolly Rancher. I'm ready. It, the mist, that's like, okay, look, look the at The way the that it sprays. Look, just fine. She's a fine well, mist. Don't, don't waste her. She's like, we bring her it. over here. Um, so it's not like Oh my God, like I abrasive. smell it. Do you smell that? That's a watermelon yeah. Jolly Rancher. Yeah. So we're just gonna give you a couple of mists. Okay, stuff. let me tell you why that's better than all the other ones. Why? The other ones just have that you squirt feel. that it leaves the dots yeah. of where the drops fell and that's so wax. Dots. This is not that. Dots. No. This is literally like mist. Yep. She's she's fire. Now her skin just has like a beautiful radiant glow. We're gonna kick her up. Now this is really where I feel like we do have a major glow up. I'm gonna use my diamond glow powder. Guys, this, this, is everything. And is if you know truth. anybody in the makeup industry, they will know what this is. I'm gonna Everyone's use, makeup bag needs this. I'm gonna use this color, mm -hmm. this shade. Which color is this? Okay, you have to say it. Yes! yes! So this is literally called Yes. The reason that I called it Yes is because when I was creating the shade mm -hmm. and I got my first sample from the is lab. Is this one new? Uh, no, this is actually one of the OG okay. shades. So it was like one of the first shades that I launched. But when I was in the lab and I got my lab sample and I was like testing it and I saw myself in the mirror, I literally screamed, yes! yes! And it just stuck. It stuck. This one is like a beautiful, like Rose cool, gold, rosy almost. pink. Again, I like to work off the back of the cap. So I'm just gonna do a couple of sprinkles. We're gonna pick up a brush. A little goes a long way, but like the way that it kicks up your look is insane. So I'm literally just adding this to the highest point of her cheek, which is right in here. And I'm literally just going to dust. And it literally adds the most beautiful glow. So especially for like an evening moment, it is so perfect because it just catches the light so beautifully. So would you also use a product like this for like the tip of your nose or? Absolutely. You can literally put this all over your body. I highly encourage you to put this all over your body. Like I love to mix it with like body oils or like body really? lotions. Yeah. Especially if you're wearing like something like low cut, yes. like a body lotion or an oil and you just dust her on and you're like that girl. 
that girl. That girl. Be that girl. Be, please be that girl. Look up for me. Right in there. Perfect. Just dusting it right in there. And I'm also going to add some. Look down for me right in here. Just a tiny bit right in here, like the temples of your forehead. Where do people bit. put highlighter that they should not put highlighter? Ooh. I wouldn't say it's about like not putting highlighter. I would say it's about like, for example, like if you're highlighting the bridge of your nose, mm -hmm. you want to be precise with the application and you want to do like a really thin line. Don't do a wide line. That's if just you go, making the exactly, nose wider. Like, if you're going in with like a brush like this with the highlighter and you're just like, it's going to literally make the nose look so like big and mm -hmm. wide and shiny. So it's more about like precise application rather than like not applying it somewhere. If that Got makes it. sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just a little bit right on the temples. You're gonna be glowing from like every angle. I'm ready. Every She's coming angle. through with the glow. I I say since you have to work tomorrow, just another trick just for you guys. Just sleep at home. like this no. and don't wash the makeup. No, an airplane pillow. Really? Yes. I'm adding a little bit of the glow down the bridge of the nose, ever so slightly, and right at the tip. I love adding it right at the tip because it just kind of. And my favorite thing to do, look straight ahead for me. Mm -hmm. I love adding it right right in here just to give your eyes a nice little pop. I love that. That also separates your eyes and makes them look wider. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to give you a little brow lift and we're going to add her it. right in here. Just so it mm. just makes up a nice little pop. Okay, okay, so this is a Kylie. This is a Kylie lip pencil. This is in the shade Kylie, which is like a nice warm brown. This was for her birthday collection, so I think this is like her signature mm -hmm. like lip moment. Dope. So I'm just going to add a little bit of definition to your lips with this liner. So I'm gonna give you like a nice nude lip. And I'm going to use, this is like one of my favorite nude lips of all time. One of my friends, her name is Karen. She's I Love Sad I Eat on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And she did a collaboration with ColourPop, so they created this shade So called, wait, her name is Karen. Yes. But her name on Instagram is? I Love Sad I Eat. Who's Sad I Eat? I think that's her middle name. All right. Maybe. So they did this color. This is called Sueño de Coco. And I like all these right. names. I know, I love it too. So how did you become Mac Daddy? Because when you realize like, okay, his name is Angel, <laughs> yeah. Total but he goes opposite. by Mac Daddy. Her name is Karen. Yeah. She's I Love Sarai. Yeah. I was working at Mac at the time and we were cleaning the counter like at the end of the day and we had on like this playlist and all of a sudden I hear this song and it was like, Mac Daddy, Mac Daddy, Mac Daddy, Mac Daddy. I'm the Miggity 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 yeah. Miggity Mac yeah. Daddy. Because I'm the Miggity mm -hmm. Miggity 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 Miggity. Who sang that song? I don't know. Let me know in the either. comments. I don't know either. But yeah, it just I, it just stuck. And then once it kind of became a thing, I was kind of like, and I almost changed it. Really? Yeah. I almost changed it. I was like, I, I was like, this is a really professional, like when I'm working with brands and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So I almost changed it, but I did it and I'm glad that I did it because I feel like it's just kind of- It's your brand. It's, it's just, how you know, people know you. Yeah. It's Mac Daddy, yeah. It just becomes a thing. And it's like crazy because it's like we become yeah. like our social handles mm -hmm. in a weird way. And what's the name again? Somebody de Coco? Sueño de Coco. Sueño de Coco. Sueño de Coco. Beautiful. So I wanted to bring this and share this with you. You're the first person that has seen this. Breaking news, people. Yes, this is You heard it exclusive. here first, an yeah. exclusive. So I, once upon a time, had created some glosses a long, long, long time ago. And there's one shade that like literally has been like the best of all time. We had to discontinue them, long story short. I actually got to recreate that shade and it is right here, and it is our So brand. wait, are all your fans gonna go crazy? Yeah, they're gonna go crazy, they're gonna go crazy. It is, the shade was called Uncensored, so we called her sister, her twin sister, Uncensored 2.0, and these are our plush pout lip glosses. Oh my God. Yeah, and you're the first person to see this, and the first person first to basically First of all, wear. again, packaging, how stunning. Thank you. Aesthetically, I'm all about aesthetics, but like if you look, there's like a little bubble in the center. Mm -hmm. So that's where the product kind of sits. So even down to like the wiper, do you see this like clear thing yeah. on the top? So this wiper, what this does, it kind of sweeps the brush so that you're not like overly getting gloss. Mm -hmm. So it literally delivers the perfect amount of product. This gloss, Genius. open a little bit, is super lightweight. So it's not going to feel like anything on the lips. And it has like a minty, like cooling sensation. Love. So it just feels like super fresh on the lips. How does that feel? Amazing, and I love anything that has that minty feel to it. Mm -hmm. It's very light, it's not sticky yeah. at all. We yeah. know the ones that you do this, and as you're talking, it feels like yeah. 
tacky. Oh, I can't stand that. She's not that girl. Oh, come on. Yo, you, you killed it. Do you love? Yes, I love, yeah. no. What, it looks so good. I? Violeta. <gasps> Me it, llamo it Violeta. It could be like your novella name. I'm glad and I feel like we just showcased two colors. Yeah. So give it to them, I want to. They She's ready. I am rocking this. Yo, I think it looks, so it looks so good. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this makeover. I literally had a makeover. It was a day to night makeover. It was a day to night makeover. I feel like I got hair, I got my makeup done, yeah. I've got a whole new outfit mm -hmm. on, and she's ready. You are ready. Like, oh, yeah. like, I'm about to hit the streets in this look. Thank you, Thank so, you so much. much no, I'm No, this so is literally excited. like the most fun. And we have the so much fun. to celebrate, you guys. I'll make sure that I'll put everything that we mentioned in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and subscribe to Mac Daddy's page as well. Subscribe to my page. Love you guys. Bye guys. God, this is a good look. I need to go somewhere. <laughs> Where am I going? You really do need to go somewhere. Ah!